Okay, everybody, sorry about that. My husband called. He calls me on his breaks, so he called. So I had to stop this, but anyway, um, so yeah, doctors aren't going that great. Hopefully this next, doc next doctor will be better. If not, I'm going to have to figure out what to do because I'm pretty much SOL. I've been through pretty much every doctor that my insurance approves, and there's no birthing center or anything like that. Um, fetal movement. My son, Jax, Jackson James, um, J-A-X-E-N, not Jack, son, Jack's in. Um, he's takes after his daddy with his long legs, and he kicks the crap out of me. Um, the week before Christmas, the Friday before Christmas, we went down to California to visit my husband's family. Um, needless to say, I didn't want to go. <laughs> it wasn't my family wasn't anyone I cared to see but that was my husband's Christmas present so I couldn't really argue with him it was it wasn't a great trip um, planned on staying one place and it wasn't very comfortable there so we ended up getting a motel room for the remainder of the trip but it was right in the middle of Christmas week so there was no decent room so it was a really crappy room with a very small bed and very uncomfortable bed and me being as fat and huge as I am, it just wasn't comfortable. Um, we were there for seven days, came back home, and I was really tired. Um, I got sick, actually, a cold on our way back. So um, I basically slept for a good three days, got up to eat, that kind of stuff, but didn't do much of anything else. And I didn't feel Jack's move very much, but I thought, okay, maybe he's just tired. Um, then a few days after that, he still wasn't moving very much, like his typical self. So I started to get worried, um, started to research online, doing kick counts and stuff. And ever since that day that I really got worried, he's been kicking the crap out of me. Um, I don't know if he was just teasing me, if he was tired, if he didn't feel good or, you know, what was going on, but kicks the crap out of me. I, when he first started kicking me, I didn't like it didn't like the feeling. It was odd. And then after going through that those few days of him not really kicking and me getting kind of worried and wondering what was going on, I appreciate his kicks and his punches and his movement a lot more. Um, still, my husband cannot feel him kick or move. I don't know if it's just because I'm chunky and I have a lot of chunk in the stomach or if my husband's just not patient, patient enough to sit there and wait for it or what the case is. Um, hopefully, he'll be able to feel it soon because I want to share that with him. I want him to feel what I feel, at least to some degree, because I'm sure it won't be exactly the same as what I feel. But I want him to know what it feels like. I want him to experience that with us. So that hasn't happened yet. Still very tired. I have my days where I have energy. And then, well, like I said, we go to bed about 4 o'clock in the morning, and then we wake up at 12.30 to get him ready for work, and then he's gone by 1.40, and I usually lay back in bed for a couple hours and go back to sleep. I'm just tired. And I was someone who liked to sleep before I got pregnant anyway, so it gives me a reason to sleep now. What else? Can't quite think of anything else. Can't decide on if we're going to get a changing table or if we're going to get a dresser. If I'm going to get a changing table, we're going to do the cubby hole ones where you can put the baskets. If anyone has, you know, dislikes or likes on either way, um, let us know. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but which mattress to get? Um, I don't know. I think I mentioned that before. I can't remember. That's another thing. Pregnancy brain. My husband doesn't believe in it. He thinks it's a crock of crap. He says it's a cop out. And I'm telling him, no, seriously. <laughs> it's real. Like, things don't connect, like, in my head anymore. Like, things aren't connecting right. It's like the sparks aren't hitting properly. And I don't remember anything. He just says it's a cop out. I choose to disagree. Um... I 
think that's all. I know there's probably a lot more that I should say, but I'll watch the videos again. And what I don't mention this week, I'll mention next week. I committed myself to doing these on Tuesday from now on, every Tuesday. My husband has Saturday, Sunday, Monday off every week, so Tuesdays are a good day for me to do it. I will always be however many weeks and two days because my weeks turn over on Sundays. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. For everyone who's gotten their big fat positive or are still trying or, you know, gotten any new information on their infertility status, my prayers are with you. Um, and congratulations if you got your BFP. Um, I know what it was like for me. Like, I get emotional still thinking about it because I just, you just never think. Once you get to that point, six years of trying, six and a half years of trying, you kind of get to that point where unsaid in your head, you're kind of like, oh, I'll never get pregnant, blah, blah, blah. My husband told me he never thought we were actually going to have our own baby. So my hopes and thoughts and dreams and prayers and everything are with you guys. If you have any questions or if I forgot to mention anything or if I repeated myself, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'll write notes next week so I don't do that. But, um, oh, she wants to say goodbye. Say bye-bye. Say Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. We're late and all that, but well, I'll talk to you later, YouTube. Bye. <laughs>